is wishing to do time study using the Timer Pro applet, simply click on the printable blank time study form. And from here you can print out the uh, form that we provided for you to do your data collection. This is a sample of what the standard form will look like when it comes out. And this is an example of a completed form. Notice here a couple of things. We've identified over here the individual task IDs. This is the name of the task, all parts. This is the one stack parts. So these are the titles, if you like, of the tasks that you're going to be time studying. Then you simply enter each of the individual tasks that you see, and you record the times that you see. And you can see you just go down the way. This is cycle number one, so it's this element, this one, followed by this one, and so forth, all the way down. You can also identify value-added and non-value-added activities. Uh, typically what we do is we use a V for value-added, but you just leave it blank. Uh, put an R for required non-value-added, an N for non-value-added here. And then we've allowed you space for up to 10 cycles here. That's fairly typical in a time study. If you get 10 cycles of a reasonably consistent uh, operation, you should be relatively confident you've got a good average time for that. Now, we've also given you columns out here to allow you to actually uh, perform the uh, manual summarization if you wanted on the sheet of paper here. But of course, we're going to replace that with the, uh, the Timer Pro applets uh, process here. Uh, you can also handle uh, things like operator rating here. This is a very subjective area. If you don't know what operating operator rating is, just leave this as blank and assume 100%. Um, it's not our uh, function here to describe exactly how you do the performance rating, just to know that it's a fairly subjective area. You have to be trained properly trained to do that here. The next steps, of course, would be to take this information and tra transfer it onto the standard Timer Pro applet form. So what we've done here is we've entered the uh, task descriptions, the individual activities, and of course all the times that are here for the different cycles. You can see we're allowed to go to 15 here. You can keep on going as many as you want, actually. But normally if you're coming from the blank sheet, if you don't have uh, your own form, we do have 10 cycles in here. These uh, averages here are automatically being calculated for you. You put in your rating and this will give you what we call the leveled time here. You can see the number changing here. This is the effect of the performance rating. I put a 90% in the performance rating. In other words, the operator was only working at 90% of what we, we thought he should. And therefore, the effect of that is to reduce the time here. As I said in the previous uh, section there, um, if you don't know what the rating is, just leave it at 100, and that would be the easiest thing to do here. You can also identify the activities, of course, that are value-added, non-value-added, and required non-value-added. Again, just leave the, the value-added blank. By default, it assumes the blank is a non-value-added activity. My mistake, a blank is a value-added activity. Once you've entered all your data here, you're now ready to um, send the data over to the reporting module. Click on the Send to Report up here. One thing also, if you want to add additional rows to your sheet here, up here is the master formula. You can basically just highlight this row here, copy it, and paste as many uh, lines down as you require here. Uh, so we put the formula up here because for sure if you're, you can see the formulation up at the top here. Uh, for sure, if you're starting out, you're probably going to come in here, highlight these, and delete them. Of course, when you do that, you're taking away all the formulas. So use this master formula line here to paste the formula back down into the Excel sheet. So you can do the, um, you know, the summarization that we're showing here on any number of rows in the form. Okay, so now ready to generate the summary. We click on Send to Reports here. Give it a few seconds data from the Timer Pro app that will be passed into our standard time study processing module here. Here you can see it's passed in as manual time underscore raw is the name of the data. Here are all the different reports we have available to you. To generate a report, you simply click on the manual time, select the report you want to run. You can optionally put your own description in here of what the title is to be given to the report. And then you click on the OK, give it a couple of seconds, and all the data will be presented for you here, summarized for you typical time study format. Time, total time, level time, average rating, minimum, maximum, average time, and so forth, and generate the whole chart here. Okay, come back again, click on the generate reports again, select the raw data, and say we're looking for lead analysis. Click on that. Present the same data, just in a slightly different format. Main menu, generate reports, manual time, final standard. This is where you can put in the different frequencies for the different activities, end up with the total
total time. So for instance, let's say the cleanup happened uh, one every 10 parts. You might come in here and put in a frequency of 0.1 here. And you'll see it's being multiplied out. The average time multiplied by this to give you the standard time. You can also apply a, a PFD, personal fatigue delay time. And that will affect the number here. And these are all being added up here. You can see your standard Excel formulations right here. Okay. Now, of course, when on this sheet here, you can do a file save as save it as anything you want so you can create whole libraries of all the different time studies you're working with. Back in the applet area you can also send your time study data out to a Yamazumi chart by clicking on send to Yamazumi. Your time study data will be passed out to the Yamazumi chart from where you can do copies and pasting and move things around to look how you can improve the process. This completes our overview of the time study processing aspect of the Timer Pro applet. The Timer Pro applet itself is a subset of a full Timer Pro professional that includes PDA based time study, Excel based time study, video time study, line balancing, ergonomic analysis, standard data libraries, and work instructions.